Applications of Trigonometry in Real Life This is a very important concept connecting trigonometry because most of the real life problems are solved using trigonometry and hence applications of trigonometry is an exclusive chapter which we are going to discuss in the session. So to start with, let's start with the line of sight. So what do we mean by line of sight? The line of sight is the, is the eye contact which you are going to make with the object. Say for example, I am on the ground and I am standing here. I am just standing out here. And from here, this is my eye which I am going to make contact with the tower. Say for example, this is Kutub Minar, which we have taken in the interaction of trigonometry. So this tower top I am seeing here, from here. That means when I am watching from here, the top of the tower, this is the eye contact I am making between the top of the tower from here. The person here is making an eye contact with the top of the tower. So that line, the distance from the eye to the top of the tower where the person is watching is called line of sight. So the line of sight can be in any direction where if I see straight, this will be the line of sight. If I straight up, the line of sight is here. If I see down, then the line of sight is downwards is how we understand. But ultimately, the eye contact which I make with the desired object or the object which I would like to look at is the distance between them which is called the line of sight, the line along the sight. So line of sight derives two basic definitions. One is angle of elevation. Now what is angle of elevation? Let's see what is exactly angle of elevation connected with line of sight. To start with the angle of elevation, I start with the ground. Imagine I stand here. I just stand here and from there I make an eye contact with the tower which is out here. That means when I watch the top of the tower here, this is the line of sight and the angle which it makes is called, the triangle is called the angle of elevation. Angle of elevation is the angle made from the ground when I see upwards. If I see downwards, we call that as angle of depression which we are going to see in the next session. But from the horizontal line, if I just look upwards, then that is called angle of elevation. So this is called the horizontal line along which, which is taken as the base for watching straight. And from there, whatever angle I raise upwards to see the top of the tower or the top of the building, that angle at which I raise upwards is called the angle of elevation. In this case, this being the horizontal line, if this is the eye, if this is the eye through which the horizontal line is this, then I raise to angle theta to see exactly the top of the tower, that angle is called angle of elevation. With the line of sight out here. So this is how we understand the angle of elevation. Next is angle of depression. Angle of depression is generally, as I told you, when I see downwards. And angle of elevation is when I see upwards. Therefore, when I just discuss on angle of depression, let's take a real life problem where I have a ground and I have a building on which I'm just standing. Now this is the building where I stand. So standing here, I want to see an object or a car 
which is out here. So I'm looking at a car which is on the road from here. That means I'm watching downwards because I'm on the top of the building. When I want to see the car which is down of the building, I watch downwards, which is called angle of depression. But where does angle of depression come here is the biggest question. So to make a note, initially, as I told that my horizontal line is the first thing here, which is to be made because my angle is with respect to the horizontal line, which makes with my eye contact. So the straight line, the horizontal line through which we take the angle of elevation or the angle of depression. Therefore, for this horizontal line, when I watch here, downwards, then when I'm watching this, this angle is called angle of depression. So in this case, this angle theta is called angle of depression out here. So because this is downwards, clearly this is angle of depression and clearly this equals this. Why? Because these two lines are parallel, the ground and the horizontal line are parallel, these two are equal because of alternate angle property. So when this is theta, then immediately this also becomes theta. It's how geometrically we understand the angle being equal in angle of depression. But finally, when I see the object upwards, when I see upwards, I get angle of elevation with respect to the horizontal line, and when I see downwards, I get the angle of depression with respect to the same horizontal line. Finally, the angle decided from the horizontal line.